The LEL MPS sensor is really revolutionary. Uh, we've given people a sensor now that's going to take the guesswork out of what they're doing when they're detecting LEL. So they don't need to know what they're going to get exposed to that day. All they need to know is that they're safe from LEL gas. So we make a micro sensor, microelectromechanical systems or MEMS is, it's, is the acronym, are tiny machines that have moving parts typically and you can give them electricity. They're just like any other machine, only they're about the size of a human hair. In traditional gas detection, when you're looking for an LEL reading, you're probably using an IR sensor or a pellister. And you're probably calibrating with one specific gas. So let's use methane as an example. So if you calibrate with methane, you're gonna get a really good methane reading. But if you apply another explosive gas, like propane, you're gonna get a, a totally different reading. What we bring is the fact that we're accurate to 12 gases simultaneously. And that accuracy is synonymous with safety. And we've, we've taken great pains to make our sensor accurate across a range of gases and not just the one for which it was calibrated. The Nevada Nano Sensor is going to change how businesses are monitoring the well-being of their employees from a, the perspective of combustible gases. It'll also provide a classification system that allows uh, the sensor to report whether there's hydrogen present in a gas mixture uh, or if it's hydrogen and hydrocarbons mixed. So all this data is coming back to the Black Line Safety Cloud that empowers our data analytics to provide information and insights to businesses that they've never seen before. We can do a lot more with that data through something we call Black Line Analytics. We take all of that data that we've collected and we make it really easy to consume. We can find different anomalies. So maybe a group of people get exposed to gas a lot more often than another group of people. And we can help track down why is that happening. So we can proactively make people a lot more safe just by looking at the data that we've collected. A couple other things the NPS does that make it unique is the fact that it does environmental compensation automatically so that, as I said, the effects of pressure, temperature, and humidity are compensated for. You don't have to do any of that, which includes rapid environmental fluctuations. For example, coming from a cold outdoor oil rig at negative 20 degrees C into a warm soup kitchen, we can handle that and, and other similar environmental transitions. On top of that, the sensor itself is just excellent compared to the competition. It can't be poisoned, it lasts forever, and its readings are stable for its lifetime, which is five plus years. Blackline Safety has a history of revolutionizing the safety industry. We were the first in the industry to create connected safety wearables for loan worker monitoring. We we're the first in the world to bring satellite connectivity for remote workers. Uh, and also with our G7 connected safety wearables, we we're the first in the industry to bring connected gas detection to, uh, to the marketplace. So with this Nevada Nano combustible gas sensor, we're also the first to bring this to market as well, uh, which has uh, the potential to revolutionize how businesses are uh, monitoring for combustible gases. Okay.